yeah uh, students in our last session we have seen the introduction about uh, solids as part of uh, our uh, third unit now we will see uh, the uh, problems uh, problems on simple cases how to uh, solve uh, different varieties of problems so first three cases three cases in the uh, solids we will see here and uh, when the solid axis is inclined uh, that uh, we will see in uh, next session so here uh, these are uh, this is the content right content of uh, our uh, unit number 3 projection of solids like prisms uh, pyramids cylinders cone and uh, when the axis is inclined to one of the principal planes and uh, parallel to the other by rotating object method so this is the content of our uh, unit number 3 and uh, we'll see uh, the problems on this to solve any problem right we need to follow uh, the steps start the projection that shows the true shape and the size of the base so here the base uh, contains the uh, shape so based on the uh, that shape we are defining uh, that particular solid so here the base uh, where in which view right you can see the base from that view right uh, you, you have to start the projection true shape first you have to draw the true shape as we did in uh, earlier uh, uh, type of problems uh, problems plane surfaces identify the axis to which uh, which is perpendicular to any of the reference plane any one reference plane so definitely uh, the axis the given axis will be perpendicular to uh, any one of the reference planes so here on that reference plane draw the true shape suppose if the uh, axis is perpendicular to hp then we need to draw the true shape on hp below xy reference line if the axis is perpendicular to vp where uh, we need to draw the true shape above xy reference line that is in front view so you here also we need to start the problem with the true shape only when the axis is parallel to both reference planes the true shape of the base can be seen from its side view where an auxiliary plane perpendicular to both reference planes can be used so that is nothing but a picture plane when the axis is inclined to any one one of the reference planes in this case this is the uh, special case that we are going to see in next session but uh, to start even uh, these kind of problems initially we need to assume the axis is per perpendicular to that plane suppose the given axis is inclined to hp then we need to assume the given axis is perpendicular to hp uh, in first step that that will be our first step and then in second step we need to tilt uh, with the given theta angle so the axis is perpendicular to that plane and draw the initial step then proceed to uh, the inclined position Th that will be your second step so that way we need to solve these problems so this is the uh, uh, an example we will see draw the uh, projections of a triangular prism a base 40 mm uh, side and axis uh, 50 mm long resting on one of its bases on the hp with a vertical face perpendicular to the vp so this is our uh, plane and uh, this is the prism right it is a triangular prism and uh, base 40 mm side and axis is 50 mm long so axis is nothing but the height of the object uh, height of this solid resting on one of its bases on the hp so it is resting on one of its base it means that the solid given solid is a standing solid with a vertical face perpendicular to the vp so this is the vertical face or this can be called as lateral face also lateral face is perpendicular to vp now this is perpendicular to vp in opposite uh, side also you can uh, keep this you can uh, place it right so the orientation may be drawn uh, in opposite way also that is that will be uh, uh, correct that will be also correct right so now this is a b c d a b c d is the top face and uh, d e f so that is the bottom base now uh, in uh, front view right so in front view we can see this uh, face only right in front view we can see a c f d so only this much we can see 
so that can be seen as a rectangle that can be seen as a rectangle e is within bracket and the d is without bracket and uh, we have b a so a is without bracket b is within bracket so a dash b dash and this becomes c so this is your front view right this is your front view and uh, this is the top view top view is b c a right uh, e d e e d f will become within bracket so this is the this is the top view right this is the top view so we have to start the problem from true shape only so true shape is observed in top view here so this is the top view it is obviously a c b right a c b uh, the given side is 40 mm and here uh, to find center mark the center point of each uh, this side and uh, join that right join uh, this point center point to the opposite corner similarly you do for other sides so the intersecting point will become the center point so here since it is prism it is a plane surface you are not supposed to draw the thick lines it should be thin lines these these thin lines are only used to find the center right because we need to draw the axis axis line so here to draw the axis line right from here to this xy reference line draw the thin line don't draw axis line right from here right so axis line should be drawn from xy reference line only so this can be with any length no need to uh, measure no need to stop right with the given height right that is the axis length right so now this distance the distance between this xy reference line and this true shape can be anything it is not given anything or uh, it is nothing mentioned in the problem statement it is in front of vp this distance is uh, not defined or given in the problem hence uh, you can uh, draw with any arbitrary distance any convenient distance so here uh, this is uh, some distance i have taken and i have drawn uh, this uh, so the same right a d d is invisible e is uh, invisible and f is also invisible and uh, the corresponding uh, front view right so it is obviously a rectangle a rectangle so here uh, the axis length is uh, 50 mm it means that the height height of this object is 50 mm so uh, with this with reference to this axis line we are drawing this rectangle so now uh, this is your uh, e and uh, d and uh, d is without bracket e is within bracket and here a b a dash b dash and uh, here uh, c, c dash and here f dash so this is our front view so you should be very careful while drawing this uh, front view on top view and this should be drawn with thick lines only no thin lines so uh, drawing this axis line one uh, long line and one short line and uh, maintain the uniformity throughout this line and you will get a nice axis line so this is the uh, one good example and then we will see a few problems draw the projections of the cube of side 40 mm resting on its base on the hp and one of its vertical faces inclined at 35 degrees to vp so this is uh, a simple very simple problem a simple cube so cube it is a square the true shape is a square and all sides are equal so that is 40 mm size side even height is 40 mm so this is a 35 degree line on 35 degree line right uh, you have to draw uh, the uh, square so draw the square on 35 degree line so in front of vp uh, nothing given so you can take any arbitrary distance don't uh, try to attach it to vp since uh, nothing is mentioned right so it is better uh, to leave some space some convenient space and uh, it will be uh, it will look very good also and uh, a uh, within bracket one so one is at base uh, two is at the base uh, three is at base and four uh, fourth point is at base so this these are the notations i use here and this is 40 mm square and uh, find out its center to uh, draw the axis line so uh, as i said earlier from here to here thin line from uh, here only draw the dot, uh, axis line right so from here to it is it is uh, uh, on on hp it is resting on hp on its base so uh, you should the front view should be on hp 
right Your front view should be on hp on x square reference line so this is one and this will be your a dash and this is one dash and uh, this is visible edge b2 uh, vertical edge is an vis uh, visible edge and this is uh, the b and this is two and uh, d4 is invisible edge you have to draw with a fine dotted line right that is very very important and draw the and mark all the notations and it is height also 40 mm a dash b dash uh, that is d dash b dash and c dash so 1 dash 4 dash 2 dash and 3 dash so these are the uh, front view front view so we will see uh, more problems of this kind and uh, next is a tetrahedron it is a, a very special solid i will tell you why a tetrahedron with a uh, 60 mm edge is resting on hp so here the tetrahedron side it is obviously uh, equilateral triangle right equilateral triangle so one side is 60 mm one side is 60 mm and uh, height is not given please note that there is no height given so axis uh, length is not given it means that you have to find so that is uh, uh, the significance in this problem uh, how to solve i will uh, i will i will tell you now uh, the edge is resting on HP on one of its faces in such a way that the one of its face, face edges is inclined at 45 degrees to the VP, right projections. So here one of its the face edge is at 45 degrees to VP but it is resting on HP. It means that in top view you can see the true shape that is the uh, triangle triangle you can see in the top view so to draw the triangle there is a condition given the one of its faces face edges is inclined at 45 degrees to vp so on 45 degree line you have to draw the equilateral triangle right so that is uh, uh, the procedure you have to follow here so this is 45 degree and on this 45 degree draw equilateral triangle with the side 60 mm 60 mm and when you see from top right you can see the apex and these are the three slant edges right so here these slant edges should be drawn with thick lines it is very very important in case of prism it is a plane surface you are not supposed to draw any thick line only you need to draw thin lines whereas here the slant edges are observable from top view when you see the top, uh, the slant edge it should be drawn with thick line only so th this is very very important so these thick lines you, you should draw for all pyramids and tetrahedrons and uh, here uh, give notations a b c and uh, usually the apex is notated with the letter o so th this is usual practice and now uh, the height right uh, height is unknown so how will you uh, get the height now to get the height you have to do this small exercise now uh, the, none of this slant edge now these three are the slant edges obviously along this slant edge you can measure the height right so now none of these slant edges are parallel to vp right so now none of these slant edges are parallel to vp uh, you can rotate right uh, you can draw thin uh, arc and you can rotate it right till it becomes parallel to vp right Do, no need to disturb this view right instead you draw any one right you take any one uh, slant edge you rotate it till it becomes parallel to vp right so for that right i draw here a thin line right you can draw any side right even this side it can be drawn or this side it can be drawn any one side right right if i draw this side i can either either rotate oa or i can rotate oc right so i can rotate oa so i am rotating oa here till it meets this horizontal line it is a thin line this arc also uh, is supposed to be thin line only thin arc only so in this direction i have rotated and i have marked a point here right so from this point right from this point i have drawn a thin line up to xy reference line xy reference line now what is the slant uh, edge or what is the side of side of a tetrahedron here it is obviously 60 mm right so from this point from this point right i have to cut an arc on this axis line 
on this axis line so now with this as center 60 mm as radius i cut an arc here right i cut an arc here so this becomes my slant edge this is the slant edge true length it is the true length and this is the apparent length it is the apparent length so this is the top view sorry this is the front view the corresponding top view becomes this thin line right so this is how you should get the height this is how you should get the height of tetrahedron of this solid right uh, in this case so now now i have obtained my height from here no problem uh, my i can proceed in my usual steps right this is o dash this is o dash now you project right you project this up to uh, this line up to axis line uh, sorry uh, up to x y reference line each each side right so uh, each corner i have projected up to this base line now this is the this is my a dash and this is my c dash right and this is my b dash and this is a dash o dash and this is o dash b dash so all outermost points should be connected with thick lines so that is the very basic rule we need to adopt here and now this is c dash to o dash this c dash to o dash should be connected with dotted line because oc is cannot be seen right if you see from front right oc is are not visible so you should connect with the dotted line when you draw this dotted line no need to draw bracket so you can avoid bracket so now you are you are representing this this uh, invisible edge with the dotted line so there is no need to keep this c dash within bracket so this is uh, the uh, answer for uh, on the projection projection of this tetrahedron and uh, we will see a few more problems this is the third problem a pentagonal prism of base height 35 mm and axis length 60 mm rests on the hp with its base is base in such a way that one of its base edges is inclined at 30 degrees to vp so it is a prism but a very similar to earlier uh, first problem right it is a cube problem like very very similar uh, to cube problem we can uh, we can rush through the uh, procedure and this is 30 degree line on 30 degree line uh, we have right we have this edge right this is uh, 30 degree and uh, this is the front view and this is the uh, top view and here as i said earlier uh, you are not supposed to connect right this with the thick lines right only these lines are required to find the center and these lines should be thin lines and uh, once you draw this and uh, b2 is uh, visible and e5 right e5 is not visible that should be drawn with the uh, dotted line and uh, this should be thick line right uh, c3 and d4 is outermost line that should be drawn with thick line right and uh, give notations and uh, we can easily complete this problem right so this is how we should uh, uh, proceed it is very similar to the first problem that's why i have uh, rushed through next is this uh, fourth problem hexagonal uh, pyramid of base side 30 mm and axis length uh, 60 mm rests on hp on its base so uh, axis length is given so no need to rotate anything right it, it is clear draw its projections when one of the base edge is parallel to vp so one of the base edge is parallel to vp so that is the under the solid axis is perpendicular to hp so here the orientation of pentagon uh, should be drawn in such a way that one of its base edge is parallel to vp so that way you should draw it is hexagonal pyramid so now uh, one of its base edge is parallel to vp means since it is hexagonal true shape the another side also will be parallel to vp so no need to worry the condition is satisfied so this is a parallel to vp since it is pyramid you should draw with thick lines right you should connect it. Uh, the center with thick lines from each and every corner of base right this is o a b c d e f right from o to uh, this x y reference line it should be a thin line from from x y reference line you should draw the axis line axis line right so in front of vp this distance is uh, not given right nothing is mentioned in the problem you can take your convenient distance don't try to attach this true shape with x y reference line or don't try to touch 
2 vp so that is very important and uh, 60 mm height is given so this is uh, all outermost line should be connected with thick line and uh, this is uh, bf and uh, this is ce f should be within bracket e should be within bracket and uh, uh, this bracket is required since ob is visible edge here so this visible edges are uh, should be drawn with thick lines so now priority should be given to thick line right even though there is a dotted line here right uh, your priority should go uh, to uh, this thick line so you are drawing the thick line and uh, it is your duty to represent that there is another dotted line here invisible edge here so it is uh, it is now if you draw within bracket if you keep f within bracket now you are uh, representing that there is a dotted line here so this is how you, you should represent the invisible edge in case if this priority line comes first right so similarly here you e should be kept within bracket and uh, now uh, you are drawing the thick line to represent oc and uh, oe is invisible edge invisible edge and uh, this is a uh, o dash and uh, this is the true uh, front view on top view uh, for this given hexagonal pyramid right so next problem we will see fifth problem a pentagonal pyramid of base side 30 mm and axis length of 55 mm rests on hp on its base in such a way that one of its base edges is inclined at 30 degrees to vp and the solid axis is perpendicular to hp draw its projections so here the base uh, base side is given 30 mm axis length is also given height 55 mm so it is resting on its base on hp so it is also a regular uh, uh, problem uh, uh, as uh, we have seen in earlier cases in such a way that one of its base edges is inclined at 30 degrees to vp right so one of its base edges is inclined at 30 degrees to vp so your uh, the orientation of pentagon is should be drawn in such a way that it is inclined one of its base edge is inclined at 30 degrees to vp the solid axis is perpendicular to hp that is also given so it is a straight forward problem like uh, earlier case uh, draw 30 degree line on that 30 degree line draw the pentagon right draw the pentagon even you can draw this side also nothing wrong right any side you can take 30 degree and uh, give notations o and uh, a b c d e right so now draw the uh, axis line from here to here thin line then uh, uh, axis line now a high height is given so uh, no need to do any exercise here so it is 55 mm it is 55 mm 55 mm it is o right this point is o dash and now connect o dash to a dash and uh, now this is e right so there is no other line so it is you have only o e line so no need to keep e within bracket instead you can show dotted line right you can show dotted line uh, here and uh, b o b and o c are visible you can draw thick lines for those two right so now OB and uh, here OE should be drawn with dotted line and this should be drawn with thick line, right? So this is uh, the problem and uh, here if you draw the dotted line, you are not supposed to draw the bracket. So that so that is the point you should remember, right? And then uh, sixth problem, axis perpendicular to VP and uh, parallel to HP and uh, we are going to next case in this case a cube of side 40 mm is resting on uh, the hp on one of its edges draw its projections when one of its faces containing the resting edge is inclined at 40 degrees to hp so just uh, we are just moving our uh, friend our true shape to above x square reference line that's all we, we are doing here the steps remaining same right uh, so now the one of its base edge is 40 degrees to hp right 40 degrees to hp and it is resting on vp right it is uh, one of its faces containing the resting edge is inclined at 40 degrees to hp right so uh, draw the uh, solid axis right uh, when a solid axis is perpendicular to vp solid axis is perpendicular to vp and uh, here it is resting on this face right this uh, 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 edge right it is the edge it is resting on one of its edge on hp 
when it is resting on one of its edges on HP, obviously its axis is perpendicular to VP. That is also given here. So it is a straightforward problem. Give the notations, right? And uh, top view should be drawn. Now top view should be drawn with the given height. So height of the cube is nothing but the same 40 mm. So 40 mm you have to uh, draw and uh, this is one, two, three, four. So these are these are uh, the points nearer to VP and they are invisible and uh, this is our D4. D4 is a visible edge and uh, B2 is an invisible edge and that should be drawn with dotted line. So the procedure is same as earlier uh, problems. Only difference is the axis is perpendicular to VP. Right. And uh, one more problem uh, we will see of this kind. A, a pentagonal pyramid of base height that 30 mm and axis length uh, that is the height is given 60 mm rests on HP on one of its base corner, right? It is the it is resting on one of its base corner in such a way that one of the base edges containing the resting corner is making 30 40 degrees to HP. So similar to earlier problem, but it is pyramid. Draw its projections when the axis is perpendicular to VP and the base is touching the VP, right? base is touching the VP. So that is uh, the uh, uh, another important uh, point you should uh, remember because it is not in front of VP at some distance, but it is uh, touching the VP. So you, 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 your, the base should touch the VP. So that is uh, the case here. And at 40 degrees, you draw the uh, pyramid. So this is the pyramid it should be drawn with thick lines, right? The, you should connect O with thick lines. All uh, These are all the slant edges. So this is C dash and uh, you give all the uh, notations. Now base should be on XY reference line. So now you project on all these points up to XY reference line and uh, find out uh, the center, right? From center, you draw the axis, right? So draw the axis. Now A dash is here, E dash is here, right? B dash is here, C dash is here, D dash is here. So E, D are visible and uh, B, B dash, uh, so, sorry, B and O should be invisible, right? So that should be drawn with the dotted line. And uh, here it is touching VP now, right? So since it is given in the problem statement, you should attach, right? You should attach the base to VP. And uh, e, EO is visible, so EO is visible and uh, DO is also visible and BB is invisible, right? BB is invisible. So it should be drawn with the dotted line. It should be B, uh, B, B with O should be drawn with dotted line. Whereas D, D with O should be drawn with thick line, right? So this is the uh, final projection of this uh, seventh problem, right? So uh, 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 here, the only difference between other problems and this problem is it is the base is touching VP, right? Base is uh, touching VP. And the eighth problem, a right circular cone of base a diameter 30 mm and axis length 50 mm is resting on the HP on one of its base circumferential point and has its axis perpendicular to VP, right? Drives projections when its apex is nearer to VP. So here in top view, Apex should be drawn, should be uh, notated or should be located very nearer to VP, right? And its base should be away from VP, right? That is the uh, significance in this problem. It is only cone. It is a right circular cone. And we are drawing only front view on top view. It is obviously the front view is a circle and top view is a triangle. So uh, there, there are no other points to mark here. So no need to divide this circle into eight or 12 parts. So directly we can draw this and this is of point O and uh, we can uh, see uh, two points, right? We can say, we can see two points, A dash and B dash. And now apex is nearer to VP. So this should be apex and the given height is 50 mm, right? So 50 should be away from VP. So here you should uh, show the base, right? You have to show the base away from VP and apex is nearer to VP. So all conditions, given conditions are satisfied. So this is the final front view and top view. So no need to divide this uh, into uh, 12 or uh, 8 parts since we are not going to project it uh, to further step, right? So give 
three notations O and AB. So this is uh, the cone problem. And uh, then we will see a prism, hexagonal prism of base side 25 mm and axis length 55 mm lies on the ground on one of its rectangular faces. Right? It is uh, it is uh, it is lying on its lateral face. Right? With its axis perpendicular to VP. So axis is perpendicular to VP. When it is lying on one of its lateral face, it means that the axis is perpendicular to VP. There is no doubt, right? Uh, draw its projections when one of its end faces is 15 mm in front of VP. So this condition is given, right? So uh, when the projections, uh, when one of its ends, right, is in front of VP by 15 mm, so that should be uh, taken care. That should be uh, given. Uh, uh, that should be represented here. So this is your XY reference line. And uh, here it is resting on this rectangular face. It is the lateral face on which it is sleeping. So this is a sleeping solid. And uh, to find the center, uh, uh, just join corner to corner. The intersecting point of uh, these lines will give you the center point. From here to here, draw the thin line. And uh, from here, right, draw the axis line, give notations. And uh, my front side, I am giving A, uh, that is alphabets. On back side, I am giving numerals, right? Anyway, you can give no, no issues. A, B, C, D, E, F, right? So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So at 15 mm, in front of VP, uh, uh, you have to give this 15 mm. And then you have to start the top view. So this is the top view, right? Top view and the height is 55 mm. So the, uh, the top view of this, right? The outermost lines will be forming an... Uh, a and uh, a, a rectangle right it is a rectangle and uh, now give the uh, uh, all the sides and uh, give notations and uh, the uh, which are away right which are away are uh, numerals so which uh, they are uh, nearer to they are nearer to vp so they are nearer to vp and here same way 6 uh, f 6 f is visible this edge is visible and b2 edge is invisible so b2 should be kept within bracket similarly here 5 uh, 5 e is a visible edge and c3 is invisible edge so c3 should be kept within bracket so this is how we should uh, proceed in this problem and now uh, axis parallel to both hp and vp so this is another case right and uh, here a pentagonal prism of base side 25 mm and axis length 55 mm lies on the HP on one of its longer lateral edges with its axis parallel to both HP and VP. Right's projections when one of its rectangular faces containing the resting edge is inclined at 30 degrees to HP. So uh, here the rectangular face is making 30 degrees to HP the uh, axis is uh, parallel to both HP and VP, right? So when the axis is parallel to both HP and VP, you can see the true shape in side view. So you have to make use of X1, Y1 line to draw the side view, right? So this is uh, the X1, uh, the side view. So side view, I am drawing here, left side view. I'm drawing on right side. And this is 25 mm side so i am giving notations a b c d and uh, 1 2 3 4 5 and x1 from x1 y1 you can draw uh, like this it is a 45 degree line from each point right you draw a thin line up to this 45 degree line right and then you can draw the top view so the top view this 55 mm you can see here as well as here right at 55 mm draw two thin lines right you know that the height height of this prism is 55 mm axis length is 55 mm and uh, here from this line to this line you get 55 mm and uh, uh, from each point right you project on to this 45 degree line and then project here right and uh, this is e and this is phi and uh, similarly here this is uh, a, A is here visible and uh, 1 is invisible, right? And uh, similarly, uh, D4, D is here and 4 is invisible. C is here, right? And uh, you can draw the axis. So from axis up to here, thin line, up to here, thin line, 
from this from this right even from x y reference line x1 y1 you can draw, draw uh, the axis line right so here this is b uh, double dash uh, two double dash so b comes here and uh, two uh, uh, is, is coming here the last is c double dash three double dash so uh, the c double dash, c will come here and three will come here and uh, uh, draw thick lines and uh, now you are completing the front uh, top view right to draw a front view it is simple and uh, you have uh, d here for here right and uh, here this is a1 this is a dash and this is one dash and uh, from uh, here this is b dash and uh, uh, two dash right and uh, this is uh, uh, center center point right this is the axis and draw the axis line so in both front view as well as in top view you have to show the axis line and this is e and this is 5 and this is e e dash and uh, this is uh, c c is coming here and uh, c dash and uh, uh, 3 dash and last point is d dash and 4 dash so connect all out almost points with thick lines so this is the front view and uh, top view right so you can draw this uh, 45 degrees line and you can proceed otherwise we did uh, 45 degree line here right that way also you can do right so set the draft at 45 degrees and you can draw that way also both are correct so this is the axis parallel to HP and VP and uh, one more problem we will see a hexagonal pyramid of base set uh, it is pyramid earlier case uh, we have seen the uh, prism right it is a pyramid and uh, be careful uh, with the prism and pyramid in case of pyramid uh, right you are supposed to draw only pyramid if you uh, if you just ignore uh, pyramid and if you draw prism you will be getting zero marks so that is very very important and underline it first and uh, here uh, this is also uh, parallel to both hp and vp draw one of its base edges containing the resting corner is inclined at an angle of 30 degrees so in it is also very similar to earlier problem you can draw the uh, 30 degree line and when you draw a 30 degree line since it is uh, uh, hexagon you will get a straight line here right the, these two these two edges will be perfectly perpendicular to hp right so that is how uh, you can e you can uh, easily do this problem right a this is a double dash and this is o double dash that is apex right and uh, draw x1 y1 it is also very similar right draw the uh, lines up to this x the, the this 45 degree line from here you project it you know the height right so one more line you can draw here to uh, get your apex right it is 60 mm and this is axis line and uh, uh, now this is uh, the point you you have two points here a b so a is visible b is invisible and uh, here also you have two points and that is uh, so here thick line uh, uh, have highest priority so that should be drawn with thick line f and c and you will get uh, e and d and baseline should be drawn with thick line so d is within bracket so uh, some little part of axis line you can you should project and show like this right so this is how uh, the top view uh, looks like and uh, this is uh, your uh, front view front view it is lying on c it is resting on c on hp so you have db ea and you have ef right of so this is the this is your uh, front view front view of this solid and uh, another problem we'll see a pentagonal uh, pyramid of base side 30 mm and axis length 60 mm lies on hp it is pentagon pyramid right so one of its base uh, base one of it, one of the base edges containing the resting corner is inclined at an angle of 30 degrees to hp draw its plan and elevation so plan is nothing but top view and uh, elevation is nothing but front view so this this is uh, another way uh, to ask the projections so draw xy reference line draw 30 degree line so all problems i am starting with left hand side view right uh, you, even you can start from right hand side nothing is given in the problem statement uh, anyway you can uh, project it right so this is 30 mm uh, and uh, this should be drawn at 30 degrees so uh, it is very similar to earlier problem draw 45 degrees line all uh, points 
all points should be projected onto this x y uh, sorry 45 degree line and uh, this is the axis line this is the axis line now this is the height if there is a uh, given in the problem 60 mm and uh, this is how right you should represent and uh, d is invisible o d is invisible that should be drawn with the dotted line height is 60 mm and uh, the front view will be very simple and uh, this is the axis this is the axis and this becomes your o dash and uh, remaining points you can mark here and you can complete the uh, front view right so the only invisible edges oe and uh, our remaining all edges are visible so uh, uh, we have seen three cases here right uh, remaining two more cases we will see in next uh, session uh, we we can stop here